Hello, and welcome to this section of the TI-89 Calculator Tutor. Uh, in this section, we're going to uh, tackle the topic of how to find the arc length of a curve using the function that's located in the F3 Calc menu here. So if you go down, you'll see we just did Fmin and Fmax. The next one is arc length. Uh, now, if you remember back, we already covered how to, how to find the arc length of, of any function that we have already graphed uh, in graph mode. So if you're already in graph mode, the function exists inside of graph mode to, to mark two points on a graph and find the arc length there. But if you don't feel like graphing the function or you don't have time, you can, you can use the direct command right here in the command line. So all you have to do is just type in a function and let's, let's just pick anything, x squared uh, minus x you know, plus 5 or something and then put uh, comma x, so this is the variable you're operating over, and then you have to give it two boundaries. x is equal to lower bound, x is equal to upper bound. So let's say we're going to do x is equal to 1, x is equal to 5. So what this is going to do is, if you could visualize it, you would be graphing this function, if you could see it on the screen, and then where, wherever x is equal to 1 is, you put a tick mark. Wherever x is equal to 5, you put another tick mark, and the calculator is going to use the methods of calculus to integrate this function behind the scenes, basically, and integrate along that path and figure out what the actual length is. doesn't matter if it's curved or if it's a straight line or whatever. The, the, the methods of calculus are, allow us to calculate the length of any curve uh, in the xy plane there. So it's going to do that behind the scenes. So we hit enter. It's going to do that integral behind the scenes and see, it, in this case, it, it presents a really gnarly answer because it's doing an integration and so it's going to try to keep everything totally exact. Most people are probably going to want to, to see the decimal answer so just hit the green button, the squiggly equals, and it'll take the last calculation and redo the calculation, this time presenting it to you in terms of a decimal, so 20.52. Uh, so that's really about as simple as it gets for that. And there's nothing much else to talk about. We can do another one just to just for giggles. So we could do, you know, uh, sine of uh, of x, let's say, and we can go comma x goes from zero to uh, we could do pi. Where's pi at in blue right here? So we could put a pi in blue. So this is operating the same way. You have a function over x is equal to zero up to x is equal to pi, and it's going to basically do an integration behind the scenes to figure out what the answer to that guy is. So just let it think for a second, and it'll do that integration. It'll present the answer. It'll try to keep it exact for you because that's just sort of how the calculator generally operates. All right, so we get an answer of 3.82, and so it just does that integration there and gets the answer back. So that's really all that's for. Uh, you know, it's in the calc menu. Sometimes you do need to do that. It's great to go ahead and just check your answers, check your work on a on an exam if you've done the integral by hand, which usually you'll have to do in your class when you learn how to do this, and check it with your calculator is really great. Um, now, if you do happen to graph it, and we you can go back and look at those other lessons, but there is a a, a a, uh, a function in the in the graph menu when you're looking at a graph the, the math menu in the graph menu there to uh, to do the same sort of thing we can go take a quick look at that so if we go over to graph so there's what we were using in the last section it's just still there if you go under the F5 menu and you go down so under inflection let's keep scrolling down uh, you've got arc right there so if you use this guy you can mark you can hit enter, it'll give you a lower bound and an upper bound, so you'd have to mark the points on your on your graph and hit enter and it will calculate the uh, arc length between them. The only downside here is if you're using the arrow buttons to scoot along the graph, it can get a little bit cumbersome. So if you don't have time to graph it, it could be a super complicated function, really difficult to graph in a short time period. So that's whenever you would just go off to the, uh, to the, uh, the calc menu here and just find it under number 8, uh, arc length. 